Hello dear friends of the Global Energy Prize, as we're coming to the end of this year, 2022, it's time to talk about some of the results. Now, first and foremost, uh, this year has been the jubilee year for us. Exactly 20 years ago, the Global Energy Prize was established as an award to promote international scientific dialogue and support energy innovations. And this year has been a record one, as we had 119 nominations from 43 countries for the first time ever. Among other things which we have done for the first time ever too is the establishment of the Global Energy Scientific Journal which we did with the St. Petersburg Polytechnic. Also, we've launched a series of honorary diplomas for the developing world. We used to have such a prize for the veterans of the Russian energy sector. We now have a special diploma for Africa and Latin America. You can read all about all of this at our website, but of course the main task of the association is awarding the prize. So this year it's been awarded to three people, one Russian and two scientists of uh, Greek and uh, Indian background who now live and work in the United States. Today, today we will tell you about one of them. Yeah, Global Energy Prize is the highest award in the area of energy. I'm really glad that I've been selected for this prestigious prize. That is like achieving Nobel Prize in the area of energy. Kaushik Rajashekra was born in India, worked as a researcher in Germany, Switzerland and Canada. Currently, he is a distinguished professor in the University of Houston, USA. His professional interests are in energy transformation, transportation electrification, renewable energy generation, subsea electrical systems and grid integration. So in the long term, by 2100, I think more than 90% will be renewable energy. So the transportation, everything will be different, changing. Even the, the aircraft should be electric aircraft or hybrid electric aircraft. So, but there are a lot of companies are working on electric aircraft now. And you can have a small airplanes with electric aircraft already running for a short distance. And then there will be flying cars and the electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles and air taxis. And then finally it will be flying cars. That will be the future. During his academic pursuits, Dr. Rajashekara published over 200 articles in international journals. He holds over 50 patents. Our laureate gives the following advice to those who are just starting their research. So when one starts a career, first you have to focus on one or two areas where you want to be well known. See, the, mayor, the many um, engineers, they will first join here and then they will find another job in software, they will join another one another area but at least one area you become famous write papers and also find first what others have done once you know what others have done then you can find out where you can contribute as a scientist or a researcher our laureate believes that the coordinated work with your associates is the key to your big success in science always it is better to work as a team so when different countries or the researchers from different countries or work together and put their efforts, then I think technologies can be advanced faster because human brain is a democratic system. It thinks whatever it is. So everybody have ideas, different ideas. So it is better to bring them together. So instead of one person working for 400 years, I would rather ask 400 people work for one year. Developing and maintaining dialogue between the researchers from different countries, the possibility for knowledge exchange, this is what is pushing science forward and contributes to the technical progress. This is exactly the goal which for many years the efforts of the Global Energy Prize laureates and the global expert community are targeted at and for 20 years all of them are united by this great global energy prize.